there's some things that Jesus tells us I want to talk to you a little bit about what the Lord says concerning unclean spirits we are going to take authority the prophet Zechariah had a word from the Lord Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 2 and Zechariah said and it shall come to pass in that day that is these three days we are having here it shall come to pass this is the assignment we are on for a major change don't please don't miss a night in these three nights amen we're taking it right down to fire night amen on friday night amen coming red again we're gonna blood up this place amen amen but hear me here amen it shall come to pass in that day saith the lord of hosts that i will cut off the names of the idols out of the land so all these things that these people trust in, that they go and do their little, sh you know, the little simi dimi on, and their little shoo 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 on, amen, and all the things that they go spin around, around, amen, amen, all them hog head that they, amen, could make some good, amen, amen, stew hog head, which, amen, are offering them up to idols, amen, God, amen, is breaking all those curse. God shall take away all the names. I would cut off the, the names of these prayers that they pray. Somebody say, cut it off, Lord. Come on and say it seriously in the name of Jesus. Cut it off, cut it off. Amen. The Lord is cutting it off in the name of Jesus Christ. Cut it off. It must have no effect on you. It must have no effect on your parents. It must have no effect on your children. It must have no effect on your job. It must have no effect in your homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cut it off. Lord, I cut it off. I'm cutting off all these crazy demons that people are messing with. This is the time for the shackles to be broken. This is the time. Amen. The Lord says, Amen. And they shall no more be remembered. In other words, God says, I'm just turning the Torah. I'm turning it around for you in such a way that, amen, you won't even remember what you have been through. In the name of Jesus, amen, you wouldn't even remember because God says, even the prophets, amen, even the prophets that used to prophesy on their behalf, I'm going to turn them prophets around. I'm turning their prophets around. I'm getting ready to bless you. I'm getting ready to change the cycle in your life. Somebody need to be giving God thanks that God is changing the cycle. The cycle is changing. The cycle is changing. The cycle is changing in, in your life. The cycle, the cycle. Some of you are building some houses that will not finish. Get an offering and put it on the altar. Come on, get an offering. The cycle is changing. You're making a sacrifice. They are offering sacrifices against you. You offer a sacrifice in the house of God. Come on, get an offering and put it on the altar. And say, my house, my house is going to finish my house is going to start I'm struggling to pay my mortgage my mortgage will be paid on time God is opening up doors for me to get a job in the name of Jesus Christ amen every every devil is a liar tonight is a servant with a difference come on and see God amen turn things around for you in the name of Jesus there is a turning around in the name of Jesus there is a turning around they're prophets 
that prophets will not be able amen amen God says I'm going to pass their prophets out of the land I'm getting ready to put them out of business I'm getting ready to put them out of business and the reason why I leave the unclean spirit is because I want to deal with it separately God says I'll put those amen I would put those those bad mouths that has been mounting you I'm gonna put them out of business I'm putting them out somebody said go God I give you permission I am not standing in your way everything that has been blocking my path everything that has been blocking my way I receive every word from your servant tonight I receive this word of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ I receive this word of prophecy God says I will cause their prophets to pass out of the land God says time for them prophets to die amen those people who have been speaking negatively against you those, those you see I, I left this one so I can deal with it now unclean spirits here are some of, of, of you who have been going through generational transfers and tomorrow I'll deal a little bit more on that because I'll have a little more time but generational transfers of spirits wherein you keep going through the same cycle amen and you you living with that nah, 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 attitude always complaining amen always sick and tired of being sick and tired always frustrated in the name of jesus god says i'm putting them out of the land it's time for these these principality just open your eyes and begin to see those things that are not as though they are come on i want you to hear me i'm going to slow it down so that you can get it say i, I i'm going to see the things that are not as though they are what i'm talking about is that just hear me for one minute what i am talking about i am talking about the things that you desire jesus say amen whatsoever you desire when you pray say say you gotta say it and you see many a times you are you are praying but because you have lived with these unclean spirits fighting you so badly doubt and unbelief amen doubt and unbelief is fighting you and killing you amen you want a good man and you can't get a good man that's no joke i said a losers coming down looking pretty pretty and hus hey hustling you and they can do nothing for you in the name of jesus christ come on let's talk the truth amen unclean spirits bringing a set of losers into your life amen and some men, hey man, they need, hey man, they've been going through, they have good de desires, good ambition, but they just can't get a good job. They can't hold and keep a job. Always some devil fighting them, hey amen, to upset them and run them from a job. Closing doors on them. They can't see good doors. Good, uh, come on, those unclean spirits. Got to come out of the land. God, God has to pass them out of the land. They have to be passed out, out of the land. I'll tell you this. Hear what the Lord says. The Lord says... And he called, in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 1, and he called, amen, 12 disciples and gave them power, give them power against, against unclean spirits. 
You see, you gotta, you gotta come into a period in a season. That's why I call these three days. You know, sometimes you know people say, "Well, Pastor, you just had Good Friday, Easter." That's a, sometimes, Amen. When you, as a pastor, when you discern a situation with your people, you got to doctor the situation. Somebody, Amen. High five somebody and say, "The doctor is in the house." You got to doctor the situation. Amen, 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 amen. You got to doctor. We got to remedy the situation. Amen. This is, amen, an emergency call these three days. The devil got to get out of my land. Have to get out of my house. Have to get out of my situation. Just jump on your feet and turn around and say, there must be a turning around in my life. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together and give God praise in this church. Have your seats. Got to be. Must be a turning around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not going to harbor any, any working of the devil here this amen this season. This season is a blood deliverance season in Jesus Christ. Somebody say a blood deliverance season. Blood deliverance season. Amen. He gave them. He gave them power against unclean spirits. To cast them out. And to heal all manner of sickness. And all manner of diseases. Whatever you are dealing with, the blood of Jesus Christ is against it. Whatever you are dealing with, the blood of Jesus Christ. Let even a fly fly by, amen, here today. And it ain't covered, amen, amen, with some kind of disease, amen, well then let him buzz around. But if he only comes in here, let that fly die. Because Jesus Christ is breaking all manner of diseases. You see, many a times, my brethren, we allow the enemy to come in. And when the enemy come in, we accommodate him. Somebody say, no more accommodation. No rentals. Amen. No housing space. You see, that's what Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. In Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43, Jesus says, When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and find none. You see, tonight we are driving, we are driving now, we have done some major spiritual operations here in, in our, our praise, in our worship, in our declaration, in our ministry here tonight before I started to do this, amen, exhortation. But you see, you got to keep driving him out. Amen, you got to keep driving. Somebody said drive him out. Come on and say, drive them out. Blood up the place in the name of Jesus. Come on and blood up the place. Raise your hands and say, Lord, we blood up this place in the name of Jesus. No curse, no curse, no curse shall come down. No curse shall come down. No curse shall come down. We are blooding up this place. Watch it. The Lord says, he, amen, he go, when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and find none. He, when you drive out the devil like this, you can't go back, amen, and set an atmosphere again for the devil. You cannot go back and live defeated. You have to be always violent when it comes to spiritual things. 
Amen. You got to be always violent when it comes to spiritual things. And let that devil know, Amen. I'm, amen. I'm going to live what, like how God says to live. That he wish above all things that I prosper and be in health. So I keep binding that devil until the door is open. I keep praying until the door is open. I'm not settling for second best because I don't want that devil to come and settle back in my place. Amen. This place has no room for the devil. Somebody say, I have no room for the devil. Have no room. We have absolutely no room. No room. Hey man, when, whenever he goes around and comes back, he must know that this is no longer his house. Because he will claim your, your life as his house. He loved to see you lose. He loves to see you under pressure. Under pressure. He just loves to see you under pressure. Amen. Tall, strong man. Amen. Has all, amen, the energy and vitality. Amen. And the devil, amen, is fighting you to get, to get a job. Some of you degrees and you can't get a good job right here in this country. Amen. Because this, in, in this country is people friendly. Amen. They don't know, know you friendly. So they just put the advertisement on the papers just to advertise, but they already know who they want. You need a supernatural breakthrough to enter into that. Amen. Acquaintance friendly environment for you to get the promotion you want. For you to get, come on and stand on your feet and say, I come against, I come against everything that is hindering me. Everything that is standing in my way, I come against it right now. Come on, someone, you gotta get violent. Get violent, say, in the name of Jesus. I'm, you gotta take what you want. I'm taking what I 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 want. Hey, come on and come, come on and come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. man amen you and you in Christ you live as a winner don't let that, that devil come to emasculate you or come to sub subject you amen to live like you a loser amen for you to be always in a place wherein you you feel second best or you don't have you feel like you don't have class listen to me you got class amen you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus tell that devil it's time to back off tell that devil that you are a winner tell that devil that you are more than a con come on throw your hands in the air and start to talk to God and say God I am on your side You're on the Lord's side. You are on the Lord's side. You are on the Lord's side. Come on, talk to the Lord. Just don't keep your hands in the air. You are on the Lord's side. You are on the Lord's side. Today is your day of victory. Today is your day of victory. You may, amen, come in here weak, but you're not leaving weak. The Lord is your helper. Come on and give him praise. Church, come on and give him praise. The Lord is your helper. Praise him. Please have your seats. As long as you don't live with your authority, the devil will always work the way he always works. 
The devil is an opportunist. You ever meet a smart man? He can lie. Lie. You ever, you ever meet a smart woman? She worse than a smart man. Can lie. You better think I'll ever put me in trouble. Let me go both ways. Amen. Lie. Give you the false impressions. But watch, you see in, in, in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 44. Then see it, then he say it, that's the devil. So let's read from 43. And when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he, that's the unclean spirit, say it, I return to my house. You see what the devil want to call you? His house. Our principality wants to call you his house. You're his place of residency. He want to kill you. Want to destroy you. Come back for mashup. But you know when he's coming back. He's not only coming back. Just amen to leave again. So he, so he, he returns to. He says I will return to my house. From whence I came out. And when he is come. He findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. The blood, you're not going to have no entrance back in here. Amen. No entrance back in here. Come on, when you close your eyes and say, the blood is on me. <laughs> no entrance inside of here. In the name of Jesus, no entrance. Today your work stops. Stop in the life of my children. Stop in the life of my parents. Stop in the life of my spouse. Stop in the life of my career. Stop on my job. Stop in my business. Stop everything that you come against. Amen. It's covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. Verse 45. Then he goeth and taketh with him self seven other wicked seven other spirits more wicked than himself because he wants to come back because he does not want to come back out when he comes back this time he's coming to cause major catastrophe major catastrophe but i'm glad that a stronger man than he is a stronger man Hallelujah is inside of you. A stronger man is working with you. Amen. And they enter and they dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto the wicked generation. So, amen. You got to make sure you covered. You covered. Tonight I am stopping here because this service is not finished. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want you to come back with oil tomorrow. Because we are going to anoint ourselves. Amen. I want you to come back. Amen. Tomorrow. Tonight we did some major, major movements of evil out of here. I want a man to touch and agree with you tomorrow. Amen. This is an assignment I am on. Amen. The siege, the siege is being, amen, experiencing. The siege is experiencing an invasion. An invasion is coming to the, into your presence spiritually an invasion has come into your presence I want you to live with the expectancy for change stand on your feet stand on your feet amen stand on your feet amen I ask you to give an amen a seed